You want a revolution? I want a revelation. So listen to my declaration. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. And when I meet Thomas Jefferson, oh. I'm a compelled to a new women in the sequel. Work! Oh. Look around, look around. Hi, sorry, I didn't see you there. Um, Hey, it's Miss Thomas. Sorry you had to see that, but I just love Hamilton so much. And actually, that's what we're going to get into today, is analyzing Hamilton lyrics with actual primary sources that the writer of the musical used to write these amazing songs. So Hamilton is probably the best musical that you can write about a founding father, uh, because the musical is, has a little bit of a hip-hop-ish vibe, and it fits, because Alexander Hamilton had beef with every single founding father. He was always getting into debates with the other founding fathers because he wanted what was best for the country. And what we're going to be doing today is analyzing uh, the song lyrics, listening to some of the songs, and then comparing them to the primary sources that they were written after and answering some questions. So let's get started. At all the primary sources that Lynn manuel Miranda used to write the lyrics of Hamilton. So these are all of the sources mostly primary sources, as you can see, that he used and pulled bits and pieces in order to write songs and get ideas for songs. Most of these are letters from Alexander Hamilton. Alexander loved to write, and most of the information that we learn about him comes from these letters. And then Act Two, all these other primary sources, Some of them are secondary sources, but Lynn manuel Miranda had to look through all of these sources and analyze them in order to get lyrics um, for his songs and figure out what to write about. And I'll just tell you this, people back then did not talk how we do today. Um, it was very hard to understand uh, old writing and the way that people talked back then. So for him to go through that and read all those takes very good skill, skills that you are learning yourself in our history class. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna listen to one of the songs from Hamilton and analyze and the primary source that goes with it. So this song is Hurricane. It's towards the end of the musical and it's kind of Alexander Hamilton, um, his want song. He wants to be special and powerful, and he knows that he has to write in order to change his destiny and how he is perceived. of a hurricane there is quiet for just a moment a yellow sky when I was 17 a hurricane destroyed my town I didn't drown I couldn't seem to die I wrote my way out wrote everything down far as I could see I wrote my way out I looked up and the town had its eyes on me They passed a plate around and total strangers Moved to kindness by my story Raised enough for me to book passage on a ship that was New York bound out of hell. I wrote my way to revolution. I was louder than the crack in the bell. I wrote Eliza love letters until she fell. I wrote about the Constitution and defended it well. So now let's look at the primary source that Lynn Monroe pulled from. So this is a letter from Alexander Hamilton to the Royal Danish American Gazette. It was written in September of 1772. And right off the bat, I can notice that um, he's talking about something scary happening on in here. And that we can all assume that that's the hurricane since this is the song that was 
inspired by, or this primary source was inspired to write the hurricane song. So it began about at dusk at north and raised very violently till 10 o'clock. Violently as in hurricanes are very violent. Then ensued a sudden and unexpected interval which lasted an hour. Meanwhile, the wind was shifting round to the southwest point from whence it returned with redoubled fury and continued so till near three o'clock in the morning. Good God, what horror and destruction. It's impossible for me to describe or you to form any idea of it. So right off the bat, this letter is talking about the hurricane that he experienced back when he lived in the Caribbean. Let's see if we can find something else. He who gives the winds to blow and the lightnings to rage, even him have I always loved and served. The horrors of the night, of the prospect of an immediate cruel death, or as one may say, of being crushed by the Almighty in his anger, filled with terror. And then lastly, here. Sea sickness and infirmities exposed to be inclemencies of wind and water. See tender infancy, pinched with hunger and hanging on the mother's knee for food. See the unhappy mother's anxiety. Her poverty denies relief. Her breast heaves with prangs of ma ma maternal pity. Her heart is bursting. The tears gush down her cheek. Sights of woe, O oh, distress unspeakable. My heart bleeds and I have no power to solace. So in the song, he was talking about how um, in the eye of a hurricane, he beat death and he doesn't even know if he was going to be able to survive death. But in the song, he, he's also talking about how he lived and some of the others didn't. He witnessed others' deaths. And then this um, passage right here is talking exactly that, about how he's seen um, children suffer without food and hanging on to their mothers and other horrible sights, but there's nothing that he can do about it. He has no power. He's poor himself. And it's just very cool that Lynn manuel Miranda was able to read this and um, understand and get into Alexander Hamilton's mind by reading this letter that he wrote to therefore write the song Hurricane um, from his point of view. So that is just very awesome. And now it's going to be your turn to analyze some sources and Hamilton songs. Okay, my marvelous Madam Woman students, the rest of the task is up to you. Go ahead and finish analyzing the songs, analyzing the primary sources and comparing them and see how the songs uh, actually came from the primary sources. Um, finish answering the questions, analyze them, put some thought into your answers, and make sure that you turn it into Dropbox so that you can get the points. I hope that you enjoyed learning about Hamilton and seeing that primary sources can actually be used in a fun way. Uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda made a whole musical, and we got to learn more about Hamilton, and a lot more people got interested in him. I know I did. I had really no idea who he was beforehand, because uh, he's not really talked about. His story wasn't told. So, uh, complete the worksheet, turn it in, and don't throw away your shots at missing some points. Alright? I'll see you later.